I'm Scott Chelsea from Nova Southeastern University, and it's an honor to be here today to speak about one of my biggest passions, and that is branding the profession of pharmacy. I only have seven minutes, so without further ado, hold on tight. So branding, let's clear up some terminology. Branding is not to be confused with marketing, advertisement, or public relations. Those are ways to, communi to communicate your brand. But branding itself is a recognizable identity. A good brand is likable, memorable, relatable, and even captivating. Now, we know that in pharmacy, no tagline or magic keywords alone are gonna push or fix the brand. We have to be in front of our consumers, clients, and patients. And we know our claim to fame for the second most trusted healthcare professionals. <laughs> right? So what does that mean? Well, it means that we're honest, that we have integrity. It means that we are ethical. It means that we won't put poison in your pill bottles, right? That's what our clients know. They can trust us. But it doesn't create a happy brand, and I want that to stick. It does not create a happy brand. So, we, we sit here and we, we, we look at the professional pharmacy, and, and ideally we hear from our friends and family members what they think about pharmacy, and sometimes they paint a picture like this. So where's the disconnect? Well, let's talk about the current culture, the current atmosphere. 90% of Americans live within five miles of a community pharmacy where they can buy their groceries at the same counter that they buy their medications. And that interaction has been reduced down to a technician asking you, do you have any questions for that second most trusted healthcare professional? And sometimes it's even done through a drive through window. But don't get me wrong. We know pharmacists do an amazing job and have done great things to advance the profession of ph pharmacy and, and healthcare system overall. It's just not the brand that we're giving off. We have to be within the moments. We have to be within those moments that people are looking for answers, that they're <coughs> discovering something new, or making a decision. Those are those micro moments. We know that one in every 20 searches on Google are for healthcare information. Meaning that if we're not there to educate, or informed, somebody possibly less qualified will be happy to take our space. Trainers, yoga instructors, dietitians, they're all there in the health space with the best information for health, while pharmacists and physicians remain in the sick space. So, what can we do? Well, we know that dot health has been formed and allows us to create validity similar to what .com and .org were. It helps us get away from the phonies. And nutrition, it boggles my mind that we know medications deplete certain nutrients, yet it's not a general perspective that we're great and knowledgeable about nutrition. It's a $37 billion industry that we're missing out on. And again, recommending those brands as the second most trusted healthcare professional. We need to be where people are searching for. <laughs> so, we need to uh, also pay attention to social determinants, the big data, and, and really find that these social determinants help push our profession forward when we're able to individualize treatments. PwC reports that $102 billion are spent each year on health disparities, direct medical costs. We also know that every time you implement a pharmacist and spend a dollar to implement that pharmacy service, you get 10 in return. Imagine pharmacists, more information. Blows your mind. We could do a lot more in return. And instant gratification. We live in a world of instant gratification. The generation of instant gratification. People want things now, they want to be affordable, and they want them the best. And you know what? Companies are handing that over. People are getting that because they're demanding it. Walgreens started their 24-hour hotline or chat line where they're able to so you're able to speak to a pharmacist anytime, anywhere. And they link with familiar brand to be in that same space, and we all know, we hate when our patients go there, but WebMD, to create relief advisor. People no longer want to wait in lines. That's why we see a lot of patients go towards the online you know, mail order pharmacies, where there's no interaction in many cases. We need to get away from that. We need to be able to take on major issues and familiarize our brands. A lot of independent pharmacies now are creating storefronts that look like your Apple store or your Starbucks to bring in that consumer. We need to be better online. 
We're very poor in line. I'm sorry if anybody does not want to hear that, but we're very poor in line. We don't have our own show like the doctors. So we need to be better at that. And one of the big things that we need to be better at is public health. And I know we do a great job at it, but we could do more. And I know we've heard that many times here already. But the fact is we need to be there from the beginning. From the beginning, not when something becomes an epidemic. Public health is going to push us forward. We talk about pushing the profession forward. That brand of being in front and being of the people is the brand that we want to be. Public health also pushes us in our employees and building that employee morale. It really helps with creating retention for employees because especially today, millennials want to be part of something bigger. They want to be able to help do something bigger than what they are today. Social initiatives truly help. <clears throat> they also help legislators understanding who we are. I'm tired of going to members of Congress. I'm tired of going to state legislators and hearing that all we want to do is put pills in a bottle. Taking on public health issues is going to put us in front of these individuals that also happen to be legislators' constituents. <clears throat> and public health is also going to help us with our students. Again, it comes back to those millennials and those applicants that we've been searching for. Being at the forefront, each college being at the forefront of these initiatives and speaking of them being vocal. I'm a millennial pharmacist here today in front of you, and I have the honor of speaking about branding and professional pharmacy. I'm proud to be a pharmacist. I'm proud to take on these healthcare initiatives. And I ask all of you today and others in our profession to help deliver the facelift that's long overdue. Thank you.